All right, guys, we continue the complicated parts of JavaScript, and this is a fifth video. In this video, I want to cover the event loop and also how work uh, synchronous and asynchronous in JavaScript, all right? So I'm going to show you the examples, and I will try to explain you as deep as possible, all right? So first uh, example, let me cancel lock a couple strings. Uh, first gonna be the one, and second string gonna be the uh, two, all right? So if we're gonna save, and I connect uh, this file to my index HTML right here. So now I can uh, open in a browser, I'm uh, gonna run index HTML, Okay, and I'm gonna open console and you can see it's one and two. Let's reload and it show up right away. Okay, so the JavaScript is a single traded language and have one memory heap and, and it's uh, implementing and doing the task one by one. So let's print one, then console log two. So if we're gonna create guys I'm uh, gonna take the browser's API method, which calls set timeout. So, and I'm gonna add the callback function right here. And I'm gonna console log some message. So this is callback function after, uh, let's do 2000 milliseconds. And of course I need to set, and I'm gonna set 2000. Uh, milliseconds right and after let's guys console lock and another string is gonna be the three so what's gonna happen right now let's see guys in a browser and a console i'm gonna clear the console and reload the page and you can see one two three and after two milliseconds it's come up with this message with this uh, string so how it's work guys um let me open one very very nice tool latin flip.com and loop okay so let's go there and let me guys comment this code and i'm gonna delete this so what's this tool this tool calls, show us how event loop works and we have three boxes this is a call stack um, this is a web apis where's go any apis and this is a callback queue okay so what it is and how work uh, for example our code this code so let me copy i'm gonna copy and let me paste in here so let me say first and let me paste in here and uh, let's argue I need to add semicolons that's why I guys use the es5 syntax because if i'm gonna use es6 it doesn't doesn't work all right so let's run but let me make it slow slow as possible and now we're gonna see how it's work so let me save and run Let's call one, put in the stack, clear it. Console log two, implement it, clear it. And put set timeout, it's it need implement. So it's put on the web APIs. And then put here anonymous function and event loop uh, implement this. So how it's work, let's see again, guys. Console log one, console log two on call stack. So implement this set timeout, put on a web APs, then put on a callback GUI, the anonymous function, and then uh, event loop to console lock this one. Let's see again, guys. One, two, this function go here. Then this one go here to call stack implement it and here's go in the line and the queue and then event loop when it's ready event loop just implement in here throw and a to call stack all right guys so let me show you uh, another example we're gonna use the functions uh, let's create function uh, 
fn1 or it's gonna be the yeah fn1 and in this function i'm gonna uh, console log um hello and welcome okay and right here i'm gonna call the function to which i'm gonna create right now uh, function to let me create the function fan to and right here it's gonna be the uh, here we learn uh, javascript let's console log right here uh, it's like uh, don't forget like and share this video all right so um and let's run right here the function one okay so what's gonna happen let's see in the browser guys and i'm gonna open our browser let me clear and let me run hello and welcome here we we'll learn javascript don't forget like and share so how it's work uh, we call function one let's go to the call stack and then it's implement hello and welcome and then it's called the function two where we can see this message in a console log okay and after this it's print this message don't forget like and share so it's we can see in here let's run again okay you can see all right let's see uh how it's work uh, right here in this tool in this nice tool guys right? so let me comment this example and let me save okay uh let me pause okay right here i'm gonna add right here now okay let me add it's argue let's add semicolon okay like this okay let's save and run and i add slows okay let's run so call function one implement hello and welcome then call function two let's implement where learn and print don't forget uh, like and share okay and if we gonna add set timeout again guys just i repeat myself so i want to you get the idea so let's add right here uh, like a thousand milliseconds and that's it console that log uh, now we're finish this tutorial so now let's see how it's work okay so let's run put in a call stack function one print the message then put in a call stack function two print here we learn javascript then Put in a call stack, the set timeout, throw it in web APIs, put here in a waiting line, and after it goes in here and print. So we're finished. Okay. So let's recap, guys, again. Uh, what's happened? It's called function one. Right here, put in a call stack. Then uh, in the function one, print hello and welcome. Then call function two, and function two, uh, print this message. Here we learn JavaScript. Then uh, put in a call stack, set timeout. It's understand need to do something with it. So need to wait thousand milliseconds. It's true here on the web APIs. And after, thousands milliseconds it's put on a callback queue and wait on the line okay and until it's wait 
it's console log. Uh, don't forget like and share this video. And when uh, the call stack is clear, the event loop call this function, anonymous function. Then print this message. Now we are finished this tutorial. Let's see again, guys. Save and run. Put function one, print the message. Put function two, print the message. And put set timeout in the call stack and throw it right here. Work 1000 milliseconds, put here on a query, but uh, print the message, don't forget. Okay, when it's clear, event loop, throw this anonymous function right here and print the message. All right. So you can play guys uh, with this wonderful tool and you can see how your code work. So, and one more example guys, I wanna show you with event listener, how it's work. So let me comment this and uncomment this. So here's a, a method on click, all right? And it's on an on click function. Here's a, a set timeout right here and in the send timer callback function timer and the timer print the message you click the button so let's see how it's work so save and run so now it's in a stack goes right here and waiting for the event listener so if i click it goes right here event loop implement so it goes right here waiting 1000 2000 milliseconds and then implement the timer you click the button okay let's see again guys rerun and the stack goes right here waiting to i'm clicking i'm click let's go right here in the line then event loop implement so timeout go here and now event loop implement uh, this uh, you click the button so if we guys click uh, i don't know like three times you can see here's the line so first goes implementing put in a line right here it's waiting okay so this implements a timeout waiting put in the line it's gonna second and this one implement to count 2000 milliseconds and then line now event loop gonna implement the timer okay you click the button now goes this one okay and the last one all right so and the same thing works on scroll on hover and you got the idea guys so i tried to do my best guys to explain you how work event loop under hood if you think this video was helpful don't forget to share like and of course comment guys all right so see you in the next video bye